Good morning, seventh graders, and welcome to our Feature Friday for February. Because February is Black History Month, we're going to be exploring um, a variety of African American writers and um, and looking at what books we have here in our classroom libraries as well as in our school libraries and even um, on Hoopla or going to your local library. So let's get started. The first thing to know is that I did include uh, the link for Destiny Discover right here. That's our school's LMC. So if you're in person, um, this is a way for you to check out these books that I'm gonna go through today. Let's get started first though, by going to your Jamboard. So go into Google Classroom, find your reading Jamboard and open it up. Once that's open, then just go ahead and um, three quarter your screens and then teachers go ahead and continue the lesson. All right, my hope for you today is that you will be able to add a book on here that you might want to read. So you might be putting it onto this frame today as you see a variety of great, excellent reads. So um, I've got a huge stack of books right here, um, all coming from my classroom library or our um, school library, and all of these books you're going to see featured today, so in some shape or form. All right, so let's get started with our books. So I tried to pick a variety um, of great African-American writers, and I'm going to kick it off here with the very first one being a graphic novel. So many of us love graphic novels. This one is available in our LMC. I also have it in my classroom library. It's called New Kid, and it's by um, Jerry Craft. So let's watch this video trailer. It is the story of Jordan Banks, a future cartoonist but his mom refuses to send him to the art school of his dreams. And now that everything is new, it will be even harder for him to fit in. New school, the prestigious Riverdale Academy Day, AKA RAD, a nice school, a really, really, really nice school. New friends, like Liam, underneath his pink shirt is a heart of gold. He's been at RAD since kindergarten and fellow new kid, Drew, math whiz, who's also looking to fit in. Can Jordan survive being one of the few kids of color while keeping his neighborhood friends and staying true to himself? See for yourself in New Kid. Okay. So New Kid is a great read. So if you like graphic novels, you would probably enjoy New Kid or Class Act. Both of those are by Jerry Craft. And um, you could look them up either. I looked up on Hoopla. So you can borrow this on Hoopla. Um, and it goes to your mobile device so that you can see it there. And you can also find it um, inside our Destiny Discover. So those are two different locations. If you're interested in New Kid, Put it right here on what you want to read. You can grab a sticky note and just write it on a sticky note, or you can find the image and put it there. All right, let's continue on to our next New Kid is the story read. of Jordan Bank. This one is by this one is called Tristan Strong by Kwame Mabala. And this one um, is is a sci-fi um, fantasy novel. And I've got this one available in my classroom. It's an award winner and it's called um, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. So you can see our author right here, Tristan Strong. And then um, I'm gonna play you a little excerpt of his actual story. If this story sounds really good to you, go ahead and put it on your Jamboard. All right, let's take a listen. Chapter one, the car ride. It was a rhythm. Pop, pop. It told a story. Pop, pop. Everybody thought they knew the story. They'd seen it before. He'll get over it. It's a phase. Give him space. They only knew fragments. They didn't want to hear the rest. Or you do. Hmm? Well, what if I told you that I went to war over my dead best friend's glowing journal? Or that I battled monsters big and small with powers I didn't know I had, with gods I didn't know existed. Would you believe me? Nah, you wouldn't. You got your own problem. You don't want to hear about my struggle, right? Oh, you do? Well, I gotta warn you, it's a wild ride. So buckle up, champ. Let me give you some truth, and I hope it returns back to Tristan, they're here. Pop. 
Mom's shout interrupted my groove. I stopped pummeling the small punching bag Dad had installed in my room and loosened the straps on my boxing gloves with my teeth. The gloves fell on the bed, and I dropped down next to them. Eddie's journal sat on my tiny desk in the opposite corner, still glowing, still unopened since his mother had given it to me after the funeral two weeks ago. My room was so small I could have reached out and grabbed a leather book, but that would mean dealing with them, and who deals with their problems by choice? <laughs> Not me. Tristan Strong, my dad yelled from down the hall. I hated that name. It made me appear to be something I'm not. My name should have been Tristan Coward or Tristan Failure or Tristan Fate. Maybe Tristan, how could you lose your first boxing match? Anything but Tristan Strong. All right. So that gives you a little feel for Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. And um, if you want to listen to more of that, you have this presentation in your Google Classroom, and you can continue to listen to more of this story. If the story interests you, go ahead and add it to your Jamboard. Um, it is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. So let's go on to our next author today. Our next author. Chapter one. If I can get it to Carl. go. <laughs> Our next author right here is A Good Kind of Trouble by Lisa Moore. And um, I've got this book in my classroom. And right here, A Good Kind of Trouble by Lisa Moore. I'm going to show you the preview for it. And um, if this book looks interesting to you, go ahead and put it on your Jamboard. A Good Kind of Trouble, it is actually uh, recommended in, by Angie Thomas. She is the author of The Hate You Give. Um, so she recommended this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at A Good Kind of Trouble. All right, so there's a good kind of trouble. So if you if this book looked interesting to you, go ahead and put it on your jam board. Let's continue to recognize and check out some amazing new um, new reads or some reads by some African Americans. And let's go to the next slide here. Doesn't want to go to the next slide. The Stars Beneath Our Feet by David Barkley Moore. Um, I've read this one. I actually have this in my classroom library, but this is also in our school library. This is a great read. Um, I'm going to just let the book trailer speak for itself, but it is an award winner. So let's get going with The Stars Beneath Our Feet. Again, if this one looks amazing to you, put it on your Jamboard for wanting to read.
at the stars beneath our feet. If this is a book you're interested in, like I said, add it to your reading jam board so you know, or put it down somewhere so you know if this is a book you might want to check out and you might want to read. All right, let's go to our next books, maybe. So our next books here, there are a variety of books that I have on here for you. Um, the books over here on this side, So Done and Doughboys, um, both of those are from the same writer, Paula Chase, and, um, and of course they have to deal with basketball, as you've seen, and friendships. So if you're interested in those, those ones are great, excellent reads. The other one right here is Nikki Grimes. A lot of you guys are familiar with Nikki Grimes, and um, she writes in what are called tong and tonka verse, and so that's where we've got this short verse. And um, Garvey's Choice, a lot of you have read Garvey's Choice, but if you haven't, I highly recommend this book. It's a great story about a boy um, whose dad is not accepting him um, because he's not interested in sports. He's interested in choir. And so it's a great read. And he also struggles with his weight. So this is a good, a good read by her. And Nikki Grimes, all of these books, Planet Middle School and Bronx Masquerade, those are found in our LMC. And they are also written in Tonka verse. So it's written in that poetic form. So if you like that style, that would be a great style for you. Some other great African-American writers that we've already talked about um, include people like Jason Reynolds, who wrote all of the ghost books, as well as um, Look Both Ways, All American Boys. So if you are interested in sports books, he is an excellent writer for that. Um, Kwame Alexander, with all of our crossover um, series books, these are also excellent. They, too, are written in more of a prose um, so if you're looking for um, books that, and you like books that are written in verse, these would be great for you. Again, these can be found in our LMC and in some of our classroom libraries. My goal for you today is to connect with some of these great reads written by African American writers and put them onto your jam board. Figure out one or two of these books you might want to read. Check one out and get hooked into those books. Today, your job is to connect with a book, add a few books to your list, and get reading. Enjoy your day of reading, and we'll see you back tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> Bye, sailors.